Welcome back to the channel. Today we have some exciting, interesting, and maybe terrible mods to go over. But the first one is actually good, so thankfully it'll start us out on a positive note. This one right here is for the P4 and the P2. This is a very simple mod, but it's a very elegant one as well, in that you do have a stainless steel thumb bar or thumb stud, whatever you prefer to call it. Comes with two small screws that fit right here, and then it just simply fits right into the tool, and it seems to to match the exterior sort of goes with a the theme as well everything is sort of silver and textured and i really actually do like it so big thanks to code extreme for sending this to the channel that is the name of his store and make sure to check out the rest of his products. I tried to put a link below. He does have some thumb uh, studs and bars for the PowerPoint and some other tools as well. All right, so the next one right here really caused me a lot of agony, travail, tears, maybe not tears, but definitely a lot of frustration. And this is for the PowerPoint or for the power leader. And I assume it's for the power leader at least. It's marketed as a scalpel blade for the power pint. And I thought, oh, that's a good idea. Pretty cool. Some of these blades are a little bit small right here. And I thought it'd be a good thing to replace it. I actually ended up replacing the serrated blade, which is my favorite one and leaving this one in, which I was disappointed on, but I had so much trouble in here that I really don't want to tear it apart again, which I may, and I may not keep the scalpel in here because let me tell you, I had a lot of issues. Now, I want to say right up front that I'm not sure if all this is because of the tool. A lot of it is user error and me not really understanding how this mod worked to begin with. So I hope I can save you some of that headache if you want to buy this very expensive mod. The mod, this tool right here, the scalpel holder, comes in at $35. And for $35, essentially what you get is a partially finished mod for your tool. And when I say partially, I mean very partially. So what you get right here, again, I think it's made out of brass and you can get several finishes. It is a fairly soft material, so you can mod it fairly easily. And what you will need is you'll need a T8 Torx screwdrivers, one for each side to hold these in place. And then you simply undo the screw. You tap out the other part of this right here. And then these tools will all come out. And then unfortunately, the SOG Power Pint is not the easiest tool to mod because if you see right down in there, you've got a tiny bar. That's almost like what you would have on a watch. And on each side, it snaps into place on this side and also on this side. And then you do also have these spring bars, which when all these tools are out, this right here handle sort of wants to spread apart. The spring bars want to snap around and then you have to snap this spring back into place. So everything that could go wrong seemed to go wrong. I was having springs popping out. I wasn't able to get my springs back in place. I drilled into this tool and I drilled it wrong. So that's another thing that was very disappointing. So what you have to do is you have to have a drill bit that's either a 9 64th or a 3.5 millimeter. And that will give you the, it will be wide enough to accept this uh, pivot, these pivot uh, screw in the attachment right there to go through the hole of the tool. So it does not come pre-drilled. I did not realize that. You have to do it yourself. And when I did it, I did it crooked. So I kept being frustrated because this whole tool kept wanting to migrate over here, catch on the pliers. Very frustrating. So I had to go out, re-drill it, and then it does have a lot of play. I think because it's a little too loose. In the meanwhile, because I was trying to figure this out, I took more material off the bottom than I should. So it doesn't fit exactly into place, but it does fit some into place. So it's not a perfect fit. And a lot of that is my fault. Now, one of the things also I didn't realize is here at the top, you've got a catch so it can hit this lip at the bottom and you have to finish grinding that off. So it comes partially done, but not completely done. So you've got to not only drill it out, you've got to grind it out, and then you've got to make sure that you're getting all these washers into place. I used all the washers. It still didn't seem like the tightest fit. I might've needed one more washer, but 
I made do with it. And then you've got to make sure your springs aren't snapping, flying, popping all over the place. Finally put it in and I still have the scalpel catching up on the plier handle. So I can go ahead and go like this and then it pops out like this. I have to make sure it's into place or if I reach my thumb down and accidentally catch it, I could slice myself wide open. So would I recommend this mod? Well, only if you're willing to put up with a lot of frustrations. Now, I'm a huge fan of people thinking outside the box, creating things. So SWD86 Creations is the one who made this. Huge thanks to him for making that and having that out there. But what I really wish is that he would open a store. Perhaps he is, but I haven't seen it, where he finished making all those corrections and then even if i had to pay 45 dollars, i think i would be up for it now 35 dollars, you can buy a whole tool on aliexpress for that so again is it worth it well i'll let you be the judge of that again the, he also says you need a needle file for this to go ahead and sort of brush up all those areas you need to grind out all right so that was frustrating and, and some of you have said why do you buy off aliexpress and not out off of shapeways we need to support people yes we do but one of the things people don't realize is when you buy off shapeways a lot of times you have to finish doing the modding yourself it's not a finished product it's a three-quarter 80 percent maybe sometimes 90 percent in this case it was more like 75 percent done so that is challenging where a lot of times when you buy off of AliExpress or Amazon or eBay or Etsy, a lot of the times it's already pre-finished. So keep that in mind. Shapeways is a little different ball game. And hang on, we'll talk about that again in a little bit. Now the next mod is for Roxxon. So we've had Sog, we've had Leatherman. Now we'll go ahead and jump over to Roxxon. And this is really unique in that you can buy a SOG M2 for $30 and its larger cousin, the M1, you can buy for $25. Huh, not sure why. Maybe it's because the M2 does come with a pocket clip that sits right here. Now the M2 is probably marketed more as a keychain multi-tool, but I don't know if I'd say it's a keychain multi-tool. It is a little bit chunky, a little bit solid, and I would probably want it more in my pocket. Hence, probably the reason why they put a pocket clip on it. But I would like a pocket clip even more on my Roxxon M1. So the Roxxon M1 again comes in about that same size as the Power Pint, which is really cool, or the Power Leader. And unfortunately, it did not come with a pocket clip. So I went ahead and I took the pocket clip off the M3, M2, rather, snapped it onto the M1. But you do have to drill a hole because you've got this little tab right here that keeps it when you've got a hole in place from not rocking back and forth. So I drilled a hole and what I did was I used a diamond Dremel bit. These can be found fairly cheap at Walmart on Amazon and what they do is they simply allow you to go ahead and start the hole without the drill bit, skating all over your multi-tool, scratching it all up, which was what I was starting to do. I got the hole started with a diamond Dremel bit and then what I did is I used I think it's a tile and ceramic bit. It's actually a carbide tipped bit. And again, I'll try to leave a link, but I found that that works best with these multi-tool metals. I went ahead and drew a hole in, or drilled a hole in here. And the unfortunate byproduct of that was that it did still leave a little metal on the other side. And now I can't really get to it to finish it off, but the metal, the knife rather, doesn't seem restricted. I haven't noticed any scratching on it, so it doesn't seem to be getting in the way. So I've left it alone for the moment, and I might go back and sort of touch that up, work on it a little bit later. But I have been enjoying the M1 in my pocket. It's been doing an excellent job, so pretty excited to use this tool. And it really has added that extra bit to this tool that takes it from good to almost great, even though it still is a little bit weird having the fingernail clippers, but we'll talk about that in another video. All right, so this comes to, leads us to one of the craziest mods ever. If the SOG Power Pint was the most frustrating, this was probably the next most frustrating, but almost probably the most hilarious as well. So I have this 
delight with pens. I carry pens with me all the time because I'm always writing stuff down. I always like to jot down notes. And so I thought, well, what better idea than to have a quarter inch pen that you can put in a bit driver and there you go. But it is a process to get here. Again, this is from Shapeways. This comes in at $6, but again, Shapeways gets you on the shipping, so the shipping can be more than the whole total of the product that you're buying. This is by Tofty2, is the maker of this. This is a pen for your quarter-inch bit driver, and you need a couple things for it. You need Cross Matrix refills. Cross does not make the Matrix anymore, the ink pen, so refills probably will be limited, and definitely don't get it in red. I got six refills in red. They come in three each. I tried all three in the first packet, three in the second, and none of them worked from Amazon in red. So I went ahead to eBay, bought this in blue, and it works sort of. You have to sort of start it a little bit, but I did actually get ink out of it, which was better than a lot of the other refills I had. So not only do you have to have these $12 refills in a $6 project, Again, with shipping, it's a little extra, but you do have to buy these grub screws, I think they call it, M3 by three millimeter grub screws that fit in the back. Sort of screw this down. You're supposed to have a M3 tap as well, but I just screwed in, the plastic is soft enough. And then you go ahead, you put your insert in, but I couldn't get the insert in because again, there was more modding to do. So you have to take a drill bit, just a tiny bit larger, not too large, but large enough that you can just fit the tip of the pin there and then just very slightly, very gently, very carefully drill it out so that the refill can go in here. Then you put the grub screw in. So for this mod, you go ahead and you buy the drill bit, you've bought the grub screws, you've bought the cross refill, you maybe have to buy the M3 threaded tap if you want to. So you do all that, you pay $6, $12, I think three, four, five dollars for these. And so it all adds up. And then the pen, unfortunately, isn't that great. And then it sort of sticks out of your bit holder at a really odd angle for pretty much any tool you have. So is it worth it? Well, probably not at all, but it is neat. It is different and it definitely is a conversation piece. So when we talk about mods, I think for a lot of you, Things like a thumb stud, thumb bar, maybe putting on a pocket clip. That's probably the most value if you're actually having to go into, again, a lot of drilling and all kinds of things like that on your tools. Maybe it's not the greatest idea, but again, a huge thank you to those creators out there who are coming up with things, even if they aren't the perfect thing. I'm glad they're out there because they give us something to think about. They give us something new and they do give us different ways to personalize our multi-tools. And for a lot of us, that's sort of important.